Hi guys, today I'm going to be chemicaling and treating the water in this boiler system. I'm going to start with changing out the side stream filter first, which is this guy right here, and it's a 10 micron filter. To be honest, the one that's in there currently is probably extremely dirty because I've neglected it. I think it's been in there three to four months. After that, I'm going to add some Furnox F3 cleaner. This is a descaler. I'm going to let it soak for about a week, and then I'll revisit it, flush the entire system, and once I refill the system, I'm gonna add some Furnox F1, which is a conditioner and will help reduce the buildup of scale. Let's get started. The F3 cleaner comes in a 500 mil jug and is designed to treat a 130 liter system, which is roughly 16 radiators or 250 square meters of in-floor heating. The main reason to treat your boiler water is to protect expensive system components like the circulator and the zone valves and to prolong the life of the system. Treating the system with chemical can remove scale, minerals, and debris, which if we're left in the system will wear away system components and piping. As I mentioned earlier, I'm starting with replacing the side stream filter so that when I chemical the system, any debris dislodged has a fresh filter to get trapped in. As you can see, this system is extremely dirty and is in desperate need for treatment and flushing. I'm adding my chemical through a feed tank. This tank adds fluid into the boiler system as needed to a preset pressure. A more common feed system is a pressure reducing valve. I'll demonstrate how chemical can be added to that feed design in just a minute. This feed tank is a nice option, which it has the ability to mix the fluid within the tank by closing the boiler water feed off and then turning the tank to the mix setting. I'm taking note on how much fluid is in the tank because I'll have to drain off at least this much fluid from the boiler system so I can add the tank's water chemical mix. Next, turn off the power to the boiler so it doesn't operate. Your boiler's water feed should still be in the off position. Connect a hose and drain off the amount of fluid needed to add the chemical. As stated before, if you have a pressure reducing valve feed system instead of a tank feed, then you can add chemical with a fluid transfer pump or pony pump through the drain valve. Next is adding the water chemical mix to the boiler. I'm topping off the feed tank as needed until I get my desired 12 to 16 PSI.
With the chemical now added, turn the power back onto the boiler and turn up every thermostat so the chemical has a chance to reach all the zones. After an hour, I'll set the thermostats back to normal and let the heating system run its course for one week. All right, it's been one week and it's time to drain the system. Turn off the boiler's power and water feed, then drain as much fluid out as possible. You can really see that the chemical was working and absorbing a lot of the minerals. I'm repressurizing the boiler with fresh water and getting ready to flush the system. The flushing method is going to differ for everyone depending on your piping, but you'll want the fresh water to enter the system on the supply side of the boiler and drain out on the return, which will flush out any remaining chemical and sediment. For my setup, I'm going to be flushing each individual line using a quarter inch braided supply and a quarter inch MIP by quarter inch compression fitting. I'll attach this to the system by removing an auto air vent then attaching my fittings. Once the line runs clear and with good pressure, I switch the valves over to flush into their loop in the system. I'm constantly monitoring the fill tank as well and topping off as needed. As you can see, some of these loops were almost completely clogged and this system was clearly neglected. This flushing will help produce a more evenly heated floor and a more efficient heating system. After a few hours of flushing and swapping out buckets, I was finally happy with the outcome. Here's some of the debris that was left behind at the bottom of the bucket, and I'm glad to get this out of circulation as it would eventually wear out piping and fittings. Before I add the protector chemical, I'm swapping out the side stream filter as I'm sure it's clogged again. Add the conditioner or protector using the same method as when adding the cleaning chemical. Well guys, hopefully you found this video informative and like always, liking, commenting, subscribing is always greatly appreciated. Till next time.